I know as one person I can't do it by myself, but I'm just really trying to be the change that I want to see in the world. Even if it doesn't happen, that's not going to change me. I'm not going to let this world change me. Because that's what the world wants to do. Oh, I was saying I'd be wearing this out, right? And so people probably be looking at her like, she is crazy. I am. I'm crazy for wanting to be myself. To be my authentic self and not let society tell me who I'm supposed to be. I'm crazy for dressing like this because it's honoring that little girl who was not able to be herself. Who was constantly told who she needed to be, whose hair was straightened because it was too nappy. I finally get to be me. And I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry that it offends you. Because the only reason why it offends you is because you're not confident in yourself. Because that little boy and little girl inside of you is still listening to the voices of their abuser. So when you see someone like me being them, themselves, it offends you, it's intimidating to you because you're afraid to be yourself because of what other people may think of you. And that's something you gotta deal with all by yourself. I can't deal with that for you. I can only be me and hopefully that light sends some, awaken something in you that says, you know what? It's time for me to be myself too. Because I spent all these years being who others wanted me to be. Instead of thriving in my divine energy. Um, whatever that looks like. Whatever that looks like. And I wanted to say this. A lot of people, I see a lot of people like, oh, it's toxic when somebody be like grand rising. Why? It's only toxic because you're used to the negative words that people speak over you. That's your comfort zone. So yeah, it's going to be toxic. It's gonna, it's gonna seem toxic when somebody like grand rising, king, grand rising, queen, grand rising, goddess, grand rising, beautiful soul. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are intelligent. You are sexy. You are beautiful. You are divine. Yes. You're going to cringe at that. When I first started this self-love journey, I cringed. Whenever I would say that in the mirror to myself, I cried. Because I was so accustomed to the negative talk. The negative words spoken over me that when I said positive things about myself, it made me cringe. But not anymore. Because yes, it is a grand rising. And I am a goddess. And I am magnificent and I am beautiful and I am divine. But baby, so are you. But you got to start speaking that over yourself. You got to start putting that positive energy back into you. Those positive affirmations back into you. Letting go of all of that negative talk. All of that negative chatter that's in here. So you can restore your confidence. And you can walk in your authentic light regardless of what people say. Because baby, people going to talk about you whether you're walking in your authentic light or not. So. I love y'all so much and I want y'all to go out have an awesome amazing day I want y'all to have a prosperous new year too from my heart to yours as always namaste